and dry right through the 4th of July. Okay, Thanks, Bill. Bill. It's controversial. A medical research facility that uses animals to test in planning for what is planning for one valley community yeah, i've got so many emails on this yeah. one and i understand that paul mccartney has even gotten into the fight to try and stop this from happening he wrote to the governor asking her to step in but the plans are going ahead for this one as abc 15 investigator joe ducey shows us not everyone thinks this is for the greater good of the community and we want to warn you tonight some of these images you're about to see are disturbing If it doesn't make you angry, you're cold-hearted. This is video taken just over a year ago inside a Virginia medical research facility where new drugs and food additives are tested on animals, from rodents to primates. In many cases, it's gratuitous violence against these defenseless animals. Activists say the undercover video was taken by a member of the animal rights group PETA. And Valley OBGYN Dr. Debbie Wilson, a PETA member, says the video speaks for itself. Would you want a slaughterhouse? Of course not. You wouldn't want a slaughterhouse. Do you want something like this that involves such cruelty? And she doesn't want the company that runs that lab in her backyard. Covance has locations in the U.S. and Europe. Now the company's courting the city of Chandler, hoping to build an animal testing facility here. They spent 11 months undercover taking video. Outside of that, they cannot provide any documentation or supporting facts of a history of any kind of abuse. Covance Senior Vice President Wendell Barr defends his company's operations, but we learned the government investigated the Covance Virginia facility and issued 16 citations, ranging from handling a primate in a physically abusive manner to enclosures that did not meet the minimum size requirements. Ultimately, the company reached a settlement of the case and paid a fine. And we didn't agree with all the uh, citations, but there were some things that we felt we could have done better. Now Kovacs wants to build in the valley. The location? The corner of Price and Germain and Chandler. At 400,000 square feet, it would be one of the company's largest sites. But Covance still needs city approval to make it happen. We've made the land acquisition almost a year ago. We've quietly addressed the issues with the council and the mayor regarding some of the allegations. And we've made presentations to different people. This presentation was to business owners of the Chandler Chamber of Commerce. You cannot get a drug to market without drug testing. So, how close is Covance to breaking ground in Chandler? Mayor Boyd Dunn declined an on-camera interview, saying it was all premature, that the company hasn't even submitted plans to the city yet. The ABC 15 investigators found Covance has been talking to the city for almost a year. In fact, members of the Economic Council even visited a Covance site in Wisconsin. And we've discovered Covance has been funneling thousands of dollars throughout the city of Chandler since last year. We've donated to just some of the local charities uh, here in, in Chandler. In fact, we found they've been spreading their money all over the state, including $5,000 to Arizona IFAD, an anti-cancer foundation, the Chandler Service Club, and a Chandler Unity event. Covance also gave $5,000 to the Downtown Chandler Community Partnership. It was used for the city's New Year's Eve party. I think that some of the city of Chandler, unfortunately, already had their minds made up. Jan McClellan with Citizens Against Covance doesn't want to see the company expand. She and others oppose the use of animals in testing. Look at Vioxx. Vioxx, a drug that was taken off the market by Merck in 2004, sailed through the, the clinical tests, or sailed through the animal testing, and was used on many, many Americans for years before we found out that it can increase the risk of stroke and heart attack dramatically. But the FDA requires animal testing before any drug company can start human clinical trials. Animal advocates also are concerned too many large animals will be used in the research. We've said repeatedly, and it's available by the FDA, that 95% of all animals used on steady are actually rodents. Opponents say that still leaves 5% of the work done on larger animals, including primates. And animal advocates worry that testing will also be done for products other than life-saving drugs that could include cosmetics and household products. We do not do cosmetic testing. That's what Barr told local business owners. But that's not what he seemed to say in another statement. It's not the intention to do cosmetic testing. Now, chemical testing is a little bit sort of ambiguous. We work with some companies that some of their products aren't necessarily clear. 
What is clear is that neither side is giving in. There are people out there who are waiting for these medications to get to market, and they're hopeful every day that you know the next cure is around the corner. Chandler residents need to write to their mayor and write to the city council and say, no, we're not having this in our community. It's expected to take 18 months to go through the approval process, and that begins when Covance submits its plans. I'm investigator Joe Ducey, ABC 15 News, your Valley News leader. If you have a story for the ABC 15 investigators, email us at investigators at abc15.com or call us at the number on your screen, 602-222-1515.